every game's important for us, um, and this game's equally as important because it's the next game. So for us, every single game since the start of the season has been a really important for one for us. And, and every, every time we've approached the game, we've always approached with the same level of detail and, and work, workmanlike uh, in terms of our approach, in terms of making sure that um, we're trying to cross as many of those hurdles in terms of preparation for the game. So it's a really important game for us um, simply because it's the next game, Rob, for us. And, and um, yeah, we want to um, get back to our um, level best and show that consistency and that understanding what we have shown over recent weeks and, and, and continue continuing that going forward. Darren, there's a few players that have been pictured back in training, you know, Harley Dean, Shadipo, Mendes Lang, Windass. How close are they to being back? Yeah, they're, 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 they're working their way back now. They're into the, the final part that we speak about in terms of where they are in their rehab and they've come come along a long journey now. And the final part is getting back in training and getting that volume that's needed um, in order to get them up to real match speed and match tempo. So they're into that final bit now, um, as and when Rob, over the, the, the course and the duration, it's wonderful to see them back into it and, and let, looking at where they are, you know, we'll make our judgment as a staff in terms of where they're at uh, and when we feel would be the right time for them to make that um, and get back into it. But um, at the moment, they've now come back into the final phase of their rehabilitation and um, yeah, they're looking really good. And how exciting is it for you as a manager to maybe have a squad or have the kind of depth in the squad that you've, you've not really had at any point this season? Yeah, Rob, and, I, and I'd welcome that really. Um, and and I probably feel that, you know, to see those um, caliber of players sort of join back up with the, with the main group, um, it's really good. It's great for us, great for them, really. I think it, the big thing more so for them is there's no better feeling for them, really, is getting back on the pitch and rubbing shoulders with their peers. So we welcome that back. What we just don't want to do is over these next seven to ten days or a couple of weeks is not pick up anything and those players come back to add that, that depth to the squad and if we, we do that then it just opens our options a lot lot more um, and it gets certain individuals in, in balanced positions in the team defensively and uh, in, in the attacking formations that we want to set. And I'm sure you take a goal whether it comes off someone's backside or if it is you know one of the, some of the goals you've been scoring recently Darren but you know, do you, how do you reflect on some of these goals that you have scored? I mean, there's there's quite a few over the last few weeks, haven't there, that would make a, you know, like a top ten goals of the season kind of highlight reel video here. And what has been the key, do you think, to sort of getting that chemistry between the players that they're able to pull these goals off? Um, Robert, it's been it's been work that we've been doing on on the training ground, and what what we've wanted to do in this season was show a progression um, this season with the club, show a progression with the team on the pitch, uh, show a progression with, with, with the club um, outside the football pitch. And, and that's one thing that we've been consistently working at this season is getting the two together. Um, and I think the, the, the beautiful thing for me is um, that there's, there's a connection with the team, there's a connection with the support base with the football club, which is great. And, and it's, there's, I'm, not, I'm, I'm so happy to feel that energy back into the club, but it's only a start. We've got to keep building that. And what's happening is, is with that, the, the energy that comes as well from the crowd, the players are feeling that, but also at the same time, it's the connection, what we've been doing in, in training. And what I like about the goals that we've been scoring, it's been a team goal. Um, and even though individuals have been on the back of them to finish them off and finish them off in style, the build-up to it has been a team goal, really. Um, and the, the attacking prowess of the team has come from whether it be in the middle of the pitch, left hand side of the pitch, right hand side of the pitch. And I think that's been the most pleasing aspect of it really is um, the level of quality of the team goal that it is. And, and that's been most rewarding. But again, Rob, that's come from on the training ground uh, in terms of the level of understanding. And when the games have come, the players have been getting stronger and stronger. And that's why last week, the goal that we scored at Lincoln was another great team goal but we didn't we didn't feel we we put them under enough pressure uh, where we felt that we had uh, enough sufficient uh, ball control of the ball but come the final part of it just was that final 
touch or that final pass into the opposition penalty area. So we've got to get back to that, Rob, um, and continue. And, and long if, the, if there are many more goals to come like that, then we'll be happy with it because we continue to work um, and improving that and getting better with it. You were shortlisted for the Manager of the Month award in February. Is there a part of you that's glad that you didn't win so that you can carry on sort of flying under the radar? <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I mean, it's nice that you get um, nominated and I want to, you know, extend that to the, to the whole staff and players here really because um, obviously you get... You know, the mm -hmm. one me as an individual gets nominated for it, but there's so many of my staff and players that have contributed in that. So I want to thank them all really for it. But for me, it's um, just continuing the same. Um, and obviously to get nominated for the award probably says that we're doing something right here. Um, so long may it continue, Dom. Long may we continue to show that level of improvement and not stand still and continue to keep moving forward and, and, and um, testing ourselves each and every single day. And it's what I want really in terms of the, the group and the team. And that's what I said, you know, at the, <clears throat> at the start where we are and looking at us, you know, um, we've got to keep progressing, we've got to keep moving forward. And I think that's always been my message to the group and continues to be the message in terms of pushing on and looking for that level of improvement. Um, happy, yes, but satisfied, no. Pre-game week coming up. Could this make or break your season? Um, I wouldn't say it's going to make or break because there's so much football still to be played. Even though you know the the, the the finishing line's just really on the horizon, really in terms of it. But there's so many games to play because we have still got to finish off the month of March and we have still got seven games in the month of April. And as you know, in the month of April again, there's so many games in such a close proximity of days, really. So. What we are doing, we've got this three-game uh, week coming up, and uh, in terms of the course of the week, there's a there's a lot of games to play in that in that short space of time, and I think just looking at one game at a time really dumb, and I think the rest will take care of itself. But so we're focusing on tomorrow and leave leave it at that really tomorrow, um, and just making sure that we put our all our energies and our efforts into the game tomorrow, um, and see where that takes us tomorrow.